What we're seeing, uh, we continue to see uh, in the premium content and premium video space is an increase in the amount of ad and video views across a, a whole host of different devices. Um, so uh, we see 32% of video views, 30% of ad views going quarter on quarter, uh, and just a, a proliferation of content being made available uh, through these different digital uh, devices and dynamic ad environments. Um, so one of the really key things that we've seen is now over 60% um, of that viewing is taking place outside of the desktop and laptop environment, which means uh, over-the-top devices, smartphones, tablets, and uh, an increasingly set-top box VOD for programmers who have enabled that uh, is taking up the lion's share of the viewing. And that has really deep implications for the way uh, the industry is shaping up. It means that we really need to solve the measurement challenge that exists within some of those environments, especially the OTT uh, environment where you're talking about fraudless and viewable impressions uh, but ultimately we're not unable to verify and measure uh, against those things in, in, in currencies. So it, it highlights the need for us to federate currencies and measurement across all of these different screens. Uh, another, another thing we need to solve for in the, as an industry is the data uh, aspect of things and being able to target across all of these different devices. Uh, the fact that, that this viewing is now taking place outside of the, the browser, outside of the, the cookie, uh, means that we need a whole host of other data sets to be able to find those audiences and across these different uh, screens, uh, which, which in turn creates opportunity, but, but it's a real challenge ahead of us to, to deduplicate audiences as they consume this content uh, across these different devices. Um, and then really user experience is, is a big part of, of this, right? Uh, the user experience in the browser is a little bit more kind of lean in. Uh, you can um, tab out and, and, uh, and, and sort of uh, change your, your experience a little bit and the way that you view your content. Uh, if it's an, on a 60 inch screen and you're leaning back in your couch in the living room through your Apple device or your Roku device, um, it's, going to, it's going to be a different type of experience and it's a lot more immersive. People have opted in or, or you know, through on-demand opportunities to watch that content. They're engaged with it. They're much more engaged with the, not only the content, but also the advertiser experience itself. We talk to our publishers every day, so we have to uh, effectively take their word for it. But uh, the way that we, we're seeing the world shaping up is uh, the need for it to buy audience against uh, brands in brand safe contexts. Uh, and that's where premium video comes into play and I think shines uh, brightest um, because there's opportunity for us to take advantage of the data that does exist out there um, <clears throat> to find those audiences but in those transparent brand safe environments which uh, are in stark contrast to some of the lower lower tiers of, of, of inventory that's out there um, so you know as we as we approach the upfront season um, and our customers are looking to create unified buys across not only linear but also their digital and, and, and VOD DA, DAI uh, opportunities, um, there's a lot more that they can be doing to create value um, and, and shine a light on the fact that this digital inventory is effectively the same grade content and it's the same content and same um, audience, sometimes different types of audiences that can extend the reach. Um, for those particular campaigns. So I think there's a massive opportunity still ahead of us to unify these audiences, re-aggregate that scale, um, and then find clever ways in which we can leverage data and potentially automation uh, to, um, to further the premium video um, economy.